Welcome once again, my fellow manipulators of digital fate. I'm Richie, this is Capricorn. Today's video is showcasing a live react that we did on Twitch live to an event that Wizards of the Coast held to sort of unveil the new Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-earth set. Now, during this video, they showed off some new cards, they hinted at some mechanics, they didn't really dive too, too deep into them, but they showed us just enough to get us excited and also in some ways worried when it comes to monetization, but you know Wizards of the Coasts. But either way, very excited about Lord of the Rings. We're just going to show the live react in its entirety as it was on Twitch here, and um, we'll be parceling out and breaking down some of these cards separately in the future moving forward, and I'll be sure to cover more spoilers on this channel for everything with that set with March of the Machine and all of the sets that are coming for Magic the Gathering. So make sure you like, subscribe. We are trying to push the channel up to 2,000 subscribers now, and it's a lot of work, and every single like helps more than I can possibly, possibly explain to you. So please like, please subscribe. Let's check out the live stream. All right, here Hello we go, guys. and welcome to Weekly MTG. I am your overexcited host, Blake Rasmussen. Today... Today is one of my favorite shows we've ever done because today we are taking a first look at the Lord of the so Rings, much pepper Tales timber trail earth and I honestly like I'm having trouble containing my excitement to actually get in he's so excited all of you this set y'all Lord of the Rings this guys. Set is an amazing love letter to token fans one of which is me um, and I'm, I'm just, I'm bursting with joy. Show me the Witch King. This with you. Show me the uh, Nazgul. Couple notes right Show up me the front. Balrog. The first That's all I care look. about. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a first look I is, kid, I first kid. looks are our opportunity to actually show a bit about the set to your local game store so that they know what they're ordering. Uh, as a bonus, you all get to see stuff too. So we're a little bit ahead of the release, which is happening uh, in a few months, but we want to give local game stores that first look and you as well. So we're going to see some cool stuff today. We're not really going to talk about mechanics uh, with a little asterisk next to that. We're, we're just, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. We're going to get to the good stuff. Um, also, before we get started, um, and before I can no longer contain myself and just start talking about cards, uh, I do want to let you all know that we have relaunched the Magic Story podcast. The Magic so Story the Magic podcast. podcast years ago, uh, around the time of Do we Dom care Maria, about that, guys? And it has been relaunched uh, ahead of one of our most consequential stories. How much do you want to bet March that battles story. will be in this that set? That set of written stories is going to kick off this Thursday. And if you're looking to get caught up, learn a little I bit about what I would almost here, the Magic Story podcast argue. Is now. You I would almost bet that com to find it, or the reason find battles are becoming a card type now. Podcast is because they originally okay. came up with them for this Lord set. Of the Rings. Okay, so if you're not familiar with the set, if you haven't seen the uh, the pre-order beat... And then they're like, well, we should introduce so it in a standard uh, set first. Rings, Let's put them in the March of the Machine, of, or, sorry, and then they can be in Lord of the Rings. Of Earth is our first universes beyond... Like Battle of Helm's Deep? That's going to be a battle card. Such, Come on. it has been given so much care. Um, we have worked really close with people at Middle Earth Enterprises Good. to craft this um, this set that brings to life um, Token's words, and we are so excited to bring it to you all. So we are going to kick things off by sharing a number of the characters who are part of this world. Um, we're going to talk about all of the components of this product, the product lineup. We're going to talk about a couple Characters. of promotions. We're going to talk about promos. Um, buy a so, box toppers, um, which are incredibly You're sweet. going to tell us a bunch and of stuff we, we already know. we're just going to relish the flavor that is imbued throughout this set. Uh, those of you who've seen me talk before, no, I don't talk this fast or this much unless I'm this excited. We're just so going to show you the characters that are going to be in it. We are going what, are you, to what are you talking about? We know the like characters that are going to be in it. Frodo. Uh, it's Lord of the Rings. Frodo, Sauron's Bane. For one Frodo. white man, you get a 1-2 legendary creature, Halfling Citizen. For white or black, white kind or black. Kind of interesting card. If Frodo Sauron's Bane is a citizen, it becomes a Halfling Scout with base power and toughness 2-3 and lifelink. And then for triple black mana, if Frodo is a Scout, it becomes a Halfling Rogue 
with whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player. That player loses the game if the ring has tempted you four or more times. Otherwise, the ring tempts you. Yes, being tempted by the ring is a core mechanic of this set, and we are not going to talk about what it means yet today. You will see it referenced in a few places, uh, but we're going to talk ring about the actual mechanics you. of that as we get closer to the set, but know that it is imbued throughout this set. And it's weird uh, that they capitalize uh, ring, but not the. Each of these cards tells a little story. Wouldn't it be at the a ring? Point. This right? is Frodo going on his journey. He starts as a halfling citizen and then becomes a scout as he goes out into the world. And then as the ring bears down on him uh, as his journey goes on, he becomes a halfling rogue with, you see that black mana imbuing him with even so more So you can play this power. in mono white. Um, Just have now, it be a 1-2 for 1 that can become a 2-3 lifelinker for 2. In this set. And so let's go through what they are. But you're going to need to be heavy black in order to really so the, uh, get the most out of it. On the left. In the center there I do really love that alt art. Ring treatment. So the, the, the ring, ring treatment, treatment, treatment style. Is meant to show characters uh, when they're at a point of uncertainty. Often it involves being tempted by the ring or wearing the ring or handling the ring. Um, not all of them. We're going to see a couple cases today where they are other moments of uncertainty. But here you see Frodo early on slipping on the ring to hide um, and, and being... It's interesting that it's just a, a white power. card, not Finally, white black. Finally, on the right side... Even uh, though there's the actually more black in its text box so than white. If you have been paying <laughs> attention, there are seven scenes... Uh, collections of cards that uh, in that borderless treatment will create a scene. We're going to see one of those scenes today. When we first announced the set, we released the scene. The scene the idea is pretty cool. The, uh, you put all the cards together uh, Battle of Helmer Field, next to each other and they line up to make from one bigger a picture. We're going to reveal here that shows them at Mount Doom. So we're going to show all four cards in that scene today. Now, of course, Frodo can't go to Mount Doom without Sam. Samwise the Stout-Hearted. Samwise! Uh, this is a legendary creature halfling Two peasant. one with flash. Uh, Samwise the Stout-Hearted costs one and a white mana is a 2-1 with flash. And when Samwise the Stout-Hearted enters the battlefield, choose up to one target permanent card in your graveyard that was put there from the battlefield this turn. Return it to your hand, then the ring tempts you. So something I want to point oh, out about this, you'll notice that Samwise here is an uncommon throughout this set if you if you saw the article yesterday on ign talking about Gandalf, yeah that's great uh, there are multiple versions of characters depicted at different points in the story right and there will be uncommon versions rare versions mythic versions not every character gets all the treat all the uh, different rarities but it's much like Brothers War, where your favorite characters get multiple treatments showing them at multiple points. That's cool. Points That's what I would want. Journey. Lord of the Rings so is, is too awesome to just do a character once, right? Samwise the Stout Hearted. We got to get everything uh, out of this one set. As flavorful, he's saving someone. So I like the flavor a lot. I like this whole the ring tempts you idea, too. Um, I love his showcase ring treatment, which shows. Because the idea is it's a drawback if you do it too many times, Frodo right? Up Mount Doom so, like, your first few cards that you play that the ring tempts you are going to basically be above rate. Right. They're going to be doing more Finally, for you. Finally, on the right side, the borderless scene bundle promo uh, than what they cost. His part in the scene but then the once you start now, to become tempted enough times, promo, it becomes a huge a detriment. Promo, but you can get this scene... In, so I like uh, that. The first well. few things you play that uh, tempt so you are scene, way above rate. You're getting more oil. than you're paying for. And, and then later in the game, in everything the bundle, else normally there is that one tempts you promo. is in way, way not worth it. Bundle and way problematic. We'll both have this scene. So we'll have all four cards. Every bundle will have all four cards, and we'll see the others today. Uh, Non-foils can be found in the collector booster of that scene with Samwise the Stout Hearted over there. All right, now, also imbued throughout this set are the locations that we visit uh, throughout the entire journey. And so I thought today we'd share the beginning of the journey and the end of the journey. So let's take a look at the Shire. The, the Shire, Shire is, is a, a land? legendary land that enters the battlefield tapped unless you control a legendary creature. Tap to add green and one in a green. Create a food token? Control, create 
a food token. And I love the flavor text on all of these. Weird. Uh, you must start somewhere and have some roots. I don't feel like that's that good. So a couple things to note about this card. Uh, yes, there is a bit of a legendary theme throughout the set. Obviously, with like so it's many cool. amazing characters, there are legends strewn. But I don't know if it's set. good. Um, many who are very well known, like Frodo and Sam, and we'll see some uh, lesser known ones later on as well. And then food. How can it be a set with hobbits and not have a food sub theme? So you'll see many hobbits creating food, doing things with food. There's some. It's a gilded Sam goose that, that takes food. up your land drop. Um, so you'll see food kind of throughout the set as well. Uh, now these locations and basically cost three mana to use instead of two. Rare or mythic rare versions. When you're making um, a food, we'll also have because you have to tap the land itself as well. as well. So this is the borderless version of the and entire the other creature, which would be like tapping the goose. The idyllic landscape. But right. it comes into play and tapped if you don't control legendary creatures. So I don't know. It doesn't seem that good. We I guess it depends how Mount good food is. Doom. A legendary land that you can tap and pay a life to add black okay, or so red. Okay, so it's a pain land with then no colors. Then you can pay one black red and tap. Mount Doom deals one damage to each opponent. And then the incredibly flavorful final ability. Five, a black and a red. Tap and sacrifice Mount Doom and a legendary artifact. Choose up to two creatures, then destroy the rest. Activate only as wow. a sorcery. Um, a couple it's a one notes on this board. One besides just you get to keep your flavor. best two creatures. Um, I know a lot of people wipe out their whole board. The black and red, and expect that there is a cycle of dual lands. That is not the case. This is a land that was uh, specifically designed to represent Mount Doom. There, is, this is not part of a five-card cycle. This is just Mount Doom, adding the black. Yeah, and orange, red. but and they need to keep it casual, friendly. Version. Name recognition. So people will recognize it as Mount Doom. With Ooh, ring. I like that borderless art, though. One ring. It's actually kind um, of a wild card. Next, I want card. to circle back and look at a couple more Like, there are a lot of cheap of legendary like artifacts. the IGN article yesterday. But first, we have Gollum, Patient Gollum! Plotter. For one in a black, you have a legendary creature, Halfling Horror. Uh, Gollum, Patient Plotter is a 3-1. And when Gollum, Patient Plotter, leaves the battlefield, the ring tempts you. Again, we'll talk more about what that means closer to release. Black and sacrifice a creature. Return Golem from your graveyard to your hand. Activate only as a sorcerer. Sorcery. Uh, Interesting. An uncommon version of Golem. Kind of as we meet So Golem him, only tempts uh, you when he dies. Way. Or when he leaves the battlefield. Um, there are multiple versions, of course, of Golem. We have Gollum in the center, living in his cave with the ring for hundreds of years, and then on the right. And you side, can just keep bringing him back by sacking anything. Kind of like a nether shade in a way. And then, if you saw the article yesterday, this next one is going to look familiar. So Gandalf the Gray was revealed by IGN yesterday. For That's just the little blue and a red trademark thing that wizard. they do on uh, physical cards. Spell. Choose one that hasn't been chosen. You may tap just, or it looks like it's opponent. maybe a different off the grade deals three color damage to each opponent. Copy target instant or sorcery spell. To denote control, it's not standard a standard set, I believe. Or put Gandalf on top of its owner's library. It's a 3-4. Gandalf shows up, does some tricks and leaves. Um, what I do, let's put up the ring version as well. So I want to talk about this a little bit. I know this card was revealed yesterday, but again, with the multiple versions of a character, this is the Gandalf. We those see ring versions, those ring treatments the look really pretty. In the minds of Moria, uh, when the Balrog shows up, so you'll see that on the left, him standing up, ready to face the Balrog, and then his moment of uncertainty. Gandalf the Gray, remember, we'll meet other versions of Gandalf away uh, along the way. Uh, is in the mines of Moria, falling off the bridge of Khazadum uh, as he battles the Balrog. Yes, this set has a Balrog in it. Yes, we will see uh, the bridge of Khazadum even later in this presentation. So um, the multiple versions of Gandalf the Grey, that was also revealed yesterday, but if mm. you missed it, there's going to be a Gandalf, friend of the Shire. There's going to be a Gandalf the White, of course. Uh, and there may be a version in the commander set as well. Now, the other thing this set does really so well. So four Gandalfs. Gandalf the Gray, Gandalf the White. 
throughout the set. And so Gandalf, that's why I friend of the Shire, Gandalf here because and the next one that they're keeping secret is a really good example of that. So this is a simple, uncommon trick, but it you cannot, cannot pass. pass. Uh, for a single white instant, destroy target creature that blocked or was blocked by a legendary creature this turn. Interesting. And we see a more action-heavy scene between Gandalf and the Balrog. That's pretty good. Um, I, I just it's going to be really fun for lore Limited. Of the Maiar. I'm not going to do that. We're going to keep going. I've been listening to a lot of Lord of the Rings podcasts lately because I'm excited. Um, but this set is not just flavor. It is absolutely dripping with flavor. Uh, but it is worth noting that this set is legal in modern. And while this set is not modern horizon in terms of power level, we do have some interesting new additions to that format like our next card that people have been asking for in some form or fashion for a reprieve. while. Reprieve. Reprieve. For the one name and a white instant, return target's spell to its owner's hand, draw a card. So this what is a cool basically card. a white remand, which people have been talking about being possible in white for a while. So that is going to be available in modern. I mean, that's, that's sort of the power level that we're aiming for, but too good, um, right? It is again. This set is dripping with flavor. You remember when we got the three-drop blue spell that did that? Cool modern shots were made. And instead of drawing um, a card, you I'm would really learn. Excited. As a huge remand fan, I'm really in excited Strixhaven? for Strixhaven, and that was like banned. We'll play blue white, <laughs> and we can play uh, eight of these things. Um, this is one mana okay. less, and in white. When I and you get to actually draw a card rather than get a crappy this lesson. This next card that I went looking for, I. Uh, the architect and I was like hey is this character in here He's like, yes absolutely check it out here it is um, and I have been I've been listening to podcasts about theories about this character uh, got you, and Finn. I couldn't not put it in the first look here I was so excited to get this out in the world what character the witch Let king me Balrog Tom Bombadil Tom, Tom Bombadil. Bombadil for white blue black and he's a Wooberg is a legendary creature god bard <laughs> again, I've been listening to Tom Bombadil, Bombadil the God Bard. That God Bard line might actually set off some new theories. We'll see. But anyway, 4-4. Four, four. As long as there are four or more lore counters among sagas you control, Tom Bombadil has hexproof and indestructible. Whenever the final chapter ability of a saga you control resolves, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a saga card. Put that card onto the battlefield. And the rest on the bottom of your library. Oh my god! Order. This ability triggers only once each turn. It is a saga commander. Tom it Bombadil is, is awesome. Teller. It is Tom. Tom Bombadil. Bombadil's the man. Brought to life. Um, I am saga dot deck. Beyond excited for Here this. I also come. The ring sorry, sorry. The saga ring really cool. dot deck. Uh, if you are not Here familiar with dude, I'm Tom making Bombadil's this part in the story. Um, he's sort of this enigmatic figure, but his um, how many how many sagas are we gonna get in this set? I guess that's that exciting. Completely unaffected by the ring, he puts it on. He doesn't turn invisible. Every time a saga revol least, resolves, you get another so, free saga um, onto the rather field. Rather than this moment of uncertainty, we see. Imagine if you have three sagas on the field at the same time, um, and it just You're getting it chapters triggering every turn. Story. Constantly, it's one's being replaced by another. Creative character that I'm. So stoked we Basically, every time you hard cast a saga, um, that saga perpetually stays on the field okay. forever. It just keeps only turning into a new Bombadil saga so off the top we do have when to it goes away. More cards. Let's keep doing some more cards. So, um, there are going to be four commander Every decks saga you play becomes a chain of sagas forever. Um, but I did want to show you two examples um, of cards that are not the face cards but are really cool to show again that the flavor is just throughout these commander decks and you're going to be able to play these commander decks and tell a story with, uh, as it were a tale of middle earth so one of the first cards i have from the commander deck to show you is sam loyal attendant loyal attendant. one a green and a white for a legendary creature halfling peasant it's a two four uh but the most flavorful bit of this text of course is partner with frodo adventurous hobbit so uh, yes, there will be the face card, actually, of this commander deck is Frodo Adventurous Hobbit. We're not going to show Frodo today, but how can we have a commander deck without Sam and Frodo partnering uh, to go on an adventure? Uh, in this case, Sam, loyal a free attendant, food token. creates uh, at the beginning of combat on your turn a food token. Of course, Sam creates a food token. 
and then activated abilities of foods you control cost one less to activate. Interesting. So, uh, Sam and Frodo partnering to go on an adventure here. Uh, that version you see on the right is the extended version, so the new commander cards will have extended I mean, the best part of the card is that it gives you another card for free, well, right? It gives you this Frodo um, card for free, even though we don't know what it does yet. second to Tom Bombadil is my next favorite character in Lord of the Rings, which is, again, why I got to pick it. Um, we're going to see the commander version of Radagast, Wizard Radagast. of the Wild. So Radagast is two, a green Makes sense and a blue, three, five, legendary blue. creature, avatar, wizard, ward one, beasts and birds you control have ward one. Radagast is all about the beasts and the birds. Whenever you cast a spell with mana value five or greater, choose one. Create a three, three green beast creature token or create a two, two blur, uh, blue bird creature token with flying. Interesting. Um, Radagast, for those who don't know, is one of the uh, wizards very much like Gandalf or Sauron. Not overpowered. Uh, he is all about the well, oh, pretty cool. uh, beasts and the birds. All about nature. So, love Radagast. All of your beasts Radagast and, is and birds get ward in one. one of the commander decks. You keep popping five right. drops, and you keep now, making extra we ones. we are going to talk a little bit about a card that you might have seen yesterday as well. So we had to, of course, lead with the One Ring. But there's more of course, to it the One Ring. Just this. So this is the One Ring. If you haven't seen it, it costs It's real good with Shielded. It is a legendary artifact with Indestructible. And when the One Ring enters the battle, yeah, I was thinking the same thing as he. You gain protection from everything until your next turn. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life for each burden counter on the one ring. Tap, put a burden counter on the one ring, then draw a card for each burden counter on the one ring. Now, one of my favorite comments when this was revealed yesterday was someone remarking that there was no writing on this ring. And that was absolutely on purpose because there are multiple versions of the one ring. Oddly enough, sort of ironically, although we'll get to that in one second. Interesting. So, let's take a look at the variations of the One Ring. So, you will see the extended version right there in the middle. So, that is the Collector Booster version. And then the One Ring from the Mount Doom scene. So, again, you can get the One Ring in the bundle or gift bundle as part of this scene and interesting scene version will also be in collector boosters um and there's there's another wrinkle to the one ring we're going to get to in a in a moment uh, we also have the mount doom a wrinkle bundle he says promo borderless scene as a whole a wrinkle to the one ring so this is what the four cards together look like and then actually we can show you the whole scene, scene without the text on top of it as well which is pretty cool does look pretty rad. We are not done talking. I about like the, the way one they ring. did that. We are going to get to uh, more about the one ring in a moment. Um, no, that moment is now. That moment is now. So um, <laughs> the one ring. Uh, we do in this set have a set, a uh, couple sets of serialized rings. So for those of you less rings. familiar with the lore. Uh, there is the one ring, but there are other rings in the set as well. There are three rings for elves. I, I could just read the poem. Oh, are they going to have uh, all there of are the rings seven of power? rings for the dwarf lords in their halls of stone. I'm paraphrasing at this point. And then there were nine for mortal men. Uh, that's how the Nazgul came about. Um, so, what we did in this set is there are serialized versions of... The Elven Ring. I did not see Hasbro's stock price. And of the Mortal Men rings. These you Would see love here. So these to are know what's going rings. on, though. Now, the text in wow, them these are pretty. is Quenya, which is the Elvish tongue. And in each of these, they each have the same flavor text. And that flavor text is the poem Three Rings for the Elven Kings Under the Sky, Seven for the Dwarf Lords in their Halls of Stone, Nine for Mortal Men Doomed to Die. One for the Dark Lord in his Dark Throne in the Land of Mordor. I wonder if this will affect it at all, Duchess. Lie. Now, there are um, serialized versions and non-serialized versions. Now, notice on here, um, the one of 300, one of 700, one of 900. Those are to speak to the fact that there are three rings for the Elven King. So that's the Elvenish ring, of their, which there are 300. Uh, so there are 300, 700, and 900. 300 total. Because three, and then seven, there's non-foil, non-serialized. 
Again, of the Elven Rings, there are 3,000 of those. So wait, are these just actually three. Soul Ring? For the Dwarven Soul Rings, that center one, there are 7,000 non-foil They all do exactly the same 700 thing. 700 double rainbow foil serialized. And then for the nine or mortal men doomed to die, 9,000 non-foil non-serialized rings and 900 double rainbow. Wait, there's even a limited amount for non-foil uh, non-serialized? The, these rings can only be found in collector boosters, which come in the languages you see at the bottom. Oh, I guess English because they're French just a limited French edition English. variant of um, soul ring. These are digital representations. And not actually a part, part of the set. Now, I guess that makes sense. Notice there's not a one ring in here. That's because for this set, how do you serialize the one ring in any other way other than making a one of one ring? Oh, Jesus. We'll show now. A one of so, one. So, this is a traditional foil card printed in the black speech of Sauron. It can only. Can you be found imagine in who gets this? English language, the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth collector booster. Uh, this is, for a game piece, this is mechanically the same as. The one ring that you can Are get we in about the main to play set. the lottery, guys? Uh, but that did they just literally in the turn collectors' boosters in the into part of it the lottery? Is the remainder of that poem one ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all, and in the darkness bind them, in the land of Mordor where the shadows lie. I've uh, got a golden ticket. This one singular one of one ring is a traditional foil. Now let's look at all the places. How much do you think this would be worth? Different versions of Whoever the cracks this. To talk about. Okay, so to be clear, if you are looking for the main set version uh, that is found in some packs on every product we run. In one pack. Bundle alt art promo version. Uh, they are, again, these are all mechanically, uni uh, mechanically the same. Uh, they are identical as far as gameplay pieces, but obviously have their different uh, amazing aspects to them. The bundle alt art promo version uh, cannot be found in draft and set boosters, but it can be found in every bundle or gift bundle, and then will be in some collector boosters. The extended art version yeah, is found I agree. in the gift bundle uh, specifically. Although I, I do agree with them having a one of gift one version of the one ring because thematically so it's just so perfect. There. Uh, and that can be found in any language English boosters. But I also agree that there's the just there's too many variants. And one of one ring, the serialized, of which there's only one version. And again, you can see the, the writing on the ring and that image. It's amazing. Uh, it is put into a single English language collector booster somewhere in the world. That collector booster could be found in a gift bundle. So if, if you get a gift bundle, you could get the collector booster that has the one of one ring in it. Um, but we really could not pass up this incredibly flavorful serialization. There is um, one card. Just something about having literally the one, one card, ring. and so we we had to do that. So um, wild. Now, what's up, Rage Owner? Welcome to the stream. That's okay. My producer, producer Sean, kept up. Appreciate you, Sean. Um, now, if you were also paying attention yesterday, we showed off five map lands. So full art lands that show. Please maps give me a, a extended Earth. art version um, of the map lands. We have the, addi uh, the additional five, so there are ten total. Oh, so we're going to show those just off. a different. Uh, art. I will say these are not meant to form the Misty any Mountains. sort of larger map. Don't try to piece these together. Uh, Rohan. Uh, they are very cool. Bay of Belfast. They show off various portions of the map, um, and you know. One the of my marshes. favorite parts of Middle Earth has always been how developed the geography is. And the and old how forest. You can actually trace maps of, of the journey, and it's amazing. So the full art map lands uh, will be available with this set as well. Um, now, oh, I just want to like one cool of the coolest border things around them. This set is we have they look awesome, but they don't look ornate toppers. enough. We are calling, I just want an ornate uh, version. Realms and Relics. So Realms and Relics are going to be both places and objects from throughout Middle Earth and the Lord of the Rings. And uh, these are going to be, you'll get one for every box. So they'll come in any box. One um, in every box. They are going to be technically part of the commander set. So they will not change legality, which you'll see will be important in a moment since this is a modern legal release. Uh, not all of these cards are modern cards, but you will get one of these box toppers with every purchase of a box and they will also be available in collector boosters as well um, but let's take a look at some of these 
fancy, fancy cards. Um, the, this party is the party tree. tree, also known as the Great Henge. So this is a, <laughs> really? should be a familiar card, but seven in green, green for a legendary <sighs> artifact. The spell cost they reprint the cast. Great Henge Rex as the, the party tree. Creatures you control, add green, green as a box green, topper. Life. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on it and draw a card. So this is at least it's just a the box Great Henge, but given the Lord of the Rings treatment, uh, you'll notice in the lower left-hand corner it has the LTC. Uh, three-letter code, and then the set symbol is the Samander, eh, Samander, Commander set symbol, uh, indicating that it is part of that release and does not change legality. Now, the Great Henge is already modern legal. Um, the next one we're going to see is also modern legal, but is super cool, and someone in the comments called it out earlier. Let's take a look at, where it is, where is it? See? There it is, the Bridge of Casa Doom which is ensnaring, ensnaring bridge. bridge. So for three Sick. mana, you get an artifact and creatures with power greater than the number of cards in your hand can't attack. Uh, I approve again, of that one. Familiar with <coughs> Although I would love an actual bridge of Kaza Doom Gandalf card. So fight that kind of makes me sad. The rest of the fellowship had to flee and Gandalf went down to his sort of doom. Um, <coughs> In the flavor text, the way lay out across a slender bridge of stone. It was an ancient defense. The way out lay across a slender bridge of stone. It was an ancient defense of the dwarves. So incredibly that could easily, and perfect. Sorry, could only um, be traversed Yeah, this has been file. a popular modern card here and there, um, <coughs> and we're excited to see it as the bridge of Casa Doom. And then finally, um, for today, this is not the entirety of the list of box toppers. We'll reveal the box toppers when we get to previews. Um, but we wanted to give an example of a card that was not modern legal to show that not all of these are intended for modern. And that's okay because our next one is Valley of Gorgoth, also known as Wasteland. So Interesting. You to add a colorless mana or tap and sacrifice Valley of Gorgoth to destroy target non-basic land. And I love the flavor text on this one. But I am going to Mordor, said Frodo. I know that well enough, said Sam. Of course you are, and I'm coming with you. So yeah, and you can nice. see in the bottom there if you don't notice it right away that is these are Frodo fine. and Sam in the I'm not insanely the excited the about these alt art box no. toppers Doom. alternate name theme. All right, next up we are going to take but it's fine. a look it's at It's cool that they uh, exist, I guess. Some of the product lineup. Uh, we do have a couple more preview cards to show. We're not quite done yet, but let's take a look at the product lineup. It is a relatively the normal product. product lineup. We have draft boosters. We have set The fact boosters, that this is a boosters. relatively normal we have product really lineup. We packs of starter kit. And yes, you don't have to freeze and enhance on There's the cards. There's so the much. Kit. There's We're too much. We're going to show those in a moment. Uh, the bundle gift edition and then the regular bundle are there in the lower left. We'll talk a bit about more of the contents of those as we get a little bit closer. But we yeah, want right. to know Pretty that much. there are two of those. Uh, and then jumpstart boosters. And I still don't even know why set boosters exist. Does anybody bother to buy them? Look at the they must decks. if they We're keep making them. Face cards, we'll talk a little bit about the characters and sort of the themes. But so I don't see the like point. They're not different one. enough. So this is to the be Riders it, of Rohan. This is a white, red, blue deck uh, centered around the Riders of Rohan. You'll notice that it does include the collector booster sample pack. Uh, the two legendary traditional foils are going to be the face card and a secondary character. So. Um, when we talked about Radagast and Sam before the Riders of Rohan is Jeskai. All right, next up, we have Food and Fellowship. I would think this will Selesnia. be the deck where Sam and Frodo. Anaya. Now you'll notice Sam was white green, but there's black in this set as well because there's a little bit of darkness to Frodo. Um, but this will be a food focused deck with Sam and Frodo. Food and Fellowship. The way. Next up, Elven Council, blue green. Focused on the it. Elven Council. Uh, the elves are going to be blue and green. Scry sub theme to this one, and it'll focus on characters like Elrond and others who lead the elves. And then finally, the fourth deck, and of course we could not have one without Sauron leading the way. The hosts of Mordor. It is a red, black, blue deck. Sick. And Sauron the something will be. The face card of Sauron the, the something. Deck. You're not even going to um, show us Sauron? There are a couple Sauron? more things real quick. So there will be a buy a box promo, uh, which is adorable. Uh, it is a Lorian brooch, which is a reskinned Trailblazer's boots. Uh, equipped creatures have non-basic land box. Equipped to 
Um, the Lorian brooch is, of course, a very useful item that the elves hand out. And then finally, the two face cards from the starter commander, or not commander, the starter decks, starter kit face cards. There we go. Uh, Aragorn and Arwen wed. Aragorn and Arwen wed. Or a green Arwen and a white wed. legendary creature, human, elf, noble. Uh, vigilance, whenever Aragorn and Arwen wed enters the battlefield or attacks, put a plus one, plus one counter on each other creature you control. You gain one life for each other creature you control. Um, and Is the Aragorn a black a man in this set? Their marriage. And then in I don't necessarily turn, have an issue Thor with that. on the lidless eye. Three, a black and a red. Legendary was that ever insinuated in the lore? So this is, this is the only version of Sauron we're getting today, but this is the starter kit version. There are other versions of Sauron. I love that his fingers are missing, but anyway, going on. Uh, when Sauron the Lidless Eye enters the battlefield, gain control of target creature and opponent control until end of turn. Untap it. It gains haste until end of turn. Creatures you can, and for one black and a red, creatures you control get plus two, plus zero until end of turn. Each opponent loses two life. Um, so, uh, I mean, it's kind of powerful. Few cards we, have today. we do still have a little bit more information, um, and we will talk about... It's not insane, um, We will right? have some time for questions and answers, and then we'll answer what I can, which is which is not a ton at a first It's book. a threat and on a stick. Uh, next up, we have... Um, so there is going to be a celebration event. The magic celebration event is something we are doing in addition to pre-release. It's going to be a big, cel uh, big special celebration event specifically for Lord of the Rings. Uh, we're going to have more information on that coming soon. But let's take a look at some of the key dates coming up. So lots of stuff coming up. Magic Con Important Minneapolis. Important dates have coming up. Lord of the Rings there. Um, you'll have to show up to find out. May 30th, the Lord of the Rings Tales of so Middle the Earth. Previews will previews actually begin. begin. We'll start in earnest on May, 30th. on May 30th through June 9th. June 8th will be the day that we reveal the commander deck lists and do most of the preview cards. We'll have some commander previews before then. The full card image gallery will be June 9th. And then June 16th through 22nd is in store pre release events. June 20th is when um, MTG Arena will have the digital release. Uh, June 23rd will be the global tabletop release. June 23rd through 25th will be those launch party events I was just talking, or sorry, nope, launch party events. The celebration events are in a moment. The bundle gift edition will release on July 7th. July 7th through 9th, the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-Earth in-store celebration events. So again, we'll have more information on what that cool event is at that point. We'll have commander parties Interesting. July 21st through 23rd. Uh, so Magic they're doing pre-release, launch party, through 30th, we'll and in-store celebration. From the Lord of the Rings, Tales of Middle-Earth, and then store championships. And then down there you see holiday release. We haven't talked much about that here, but on November 3rd, there will be another release window for some Lord of the Rings product. Um, it will have some differences to it, and we'll talk more about as we get to that. But be aware that there is a holiday release of Lord of the Rings. It will have some new content. Okay, that's it. We, we, we got through all of this stuff. Um, I'm, I don't know about you, but I have been a fan of Lord of the Rings. I always tell people I am enough of a fan of Lord of the Rings that I have read the Silmarillion, but not necessarily a big enough one that I've uh, remembered all of it. And so uh, this set is just Fair enough. strewn with amazing flavor. I'm super excited. Um, I I'm will try to excited. answer whatever questions I can. I'm also a little I bit worried. I will note that there is an article going up on... But for now, my excitement's beating out my uh, worry. It might all be up. And that may answer some of your questions, and I may point some of you there. Um, so, let's start answering questions. Will the content of the set be drawn from the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy or, ju or canon or just the trilogy? It is focused on the trilogy. Um, I'm not enough of a Lord of the Rings scholar to fully know if there are bits and pieces from other You're books. You're not wrong, Rage you with cards like um, You Shall Not Pass, it is very focused on the Lord of the Rings story. Um, is it possible that the One of One Ring will be in a holiday release pack? No. It is in this round of collector boosters. The one ring, guys. Just one. Just one ring to rule them all. Uh, we will show the food tokens off when we get to the debut. Uh, they are, uh, like all the tokens in the set, they will be in-world depictions of food. 
Um, are we only getting scenes from Lord of the Rings or will there be stuff from the Silmarillion? Uh, we are getting the scenes are all from Lord of the Rings. What does it mean the, the ring scenes? Have to stay tuned. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Uh, so uh, people asking about news about other products. We're focused on Lord of the Rings today, so I don't have any news on anything not Lord of the Rings. Um, Battle is cards. Is there going to be a Strider card of Aragorn? So I'm not going to say yes or no, but I'll answer the sort of gist of that question um, by answering it another way. Um, there are various versions of characters throughout uh, all of this. Um, so, for example, there's another version of Gollum that's actually called Smeagol. Uh, so, interesting. You're going to see characters from throughout the journey of. So Lord wait, of why Rings. are you telling us that and there's a Smeagol version of Gollum, but you can't tell us there's a, a Strider of version characters. of Aragorn? So all the main characters get various versions that show them at different stages. You saw the starter kit version of Aragorn and Arwen Wedd. There are, of course, versions of Aragorn um, before he's king, when he's a ranger, etc., etc. Um, are there any planeswalkers in this set? Great question, because um, that is not... You know, there aren't any planeswalkers in the ring. The answer is no. There are no planeswalkers in the set, because there are no planeswalkers in the world. Interesting. Uh, yes, this set is coming to Arena. All of the cards will be playable in Arena in Alchemy and Historic. So it's treated like an alchemy set. Will there be Lord of the Rings wallpapers on the website? Love the art. Um, you know what? I'm not 100% clear on that. We do release wallpapers fairly regularly, but um, I'm not sure. We're, we'll know more once we get closer to release. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Are there any major returning mechanics from normal magic? Uh, well, yes. I mean, the, the set is strewn with them. So, for example, you saw food. Food is one such mechanic that is coming back. Uh, when is the Mitko release for the set? I believe it is the same as the Arena release. That is the digital release. So we're either going to do um, the physical do, 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 Capricorn do. launch party Are all of the, soul the weekend of June 24th the or the ones. weekend so, of July 1st. The um, If you're talking specifically Not sure about yet. the Elven, Dwarven, and Human uh, versions of the rings, the ones that have um, the, uh, the if we'd want to make text that show, uh, make it to all text, of the different in-store events, then it should so be the weekend of July first because that's the one weekend where they're not doing any serialized Elven versions, for example. Right in the middle. There uh, there are soul but if we want to, of course, in avoid the Fourth of July that have weekend on, where everybody goes out of town and them. might not be around are pretty cool, and I to come to my event a version of them in the deck, then we'd probably want to do it the weekend of June 24th. So there are soul rings not with these arts, not with the um, poem in Quenya in them that are in the commander decks. Let's see. Yes, correct. This set is based on the books. Okay, apparently I have confirmation that we will have wallpapers for this set, which is fantastic. Wallpapers. Um, I, I kind of answered this question earlier, but um, I, I, it's a good one to touch on because I know there are a lot of questions. Is the power level of Lord of the Rings the same as Modern Horizons 2? It was not designed that way. Um, it was certainly designed with some modern in mind. So actually, Sean, if we can put... Uh, reprieve back up on the screen so uh, when I was talking about it there are some things that are you know meant for modern playability reprieve is remand in white and Faramir I and Eowyn showing up in the same types of decks that might want tithe or might just be looking to delay their opponent so they can attack with a bunch of humans for example um, but it is definitely not meant to shake up the format the same way that Modern Horizons 2 did. Uh, the set is... Still it haven't really showed us the coolest stuff. As a love letter to like a Gandalf, Lord I Rings actually care about. And, the Balrog, um, the Witch King, Modern Nazgul. Modern playability came as, as part of that, but it was They not showed us Sauron, part. but he was kind of meh. They probably showed, us, showed uh, us the worst version of Sauron. So will Wasteland be legal in Modern? No. Uh, to reiterate that again, the box toppers are listed as part of the Commander release, 
and so are not technically being added to modern. Some of them are already modern legal, some of them are not. <sighs> it doesn't change their legality with the box toppers. Honestly, it's going to be the most fun to just play this mm -hmm. this set in a vacuum, like limited, where you're only playing with Lord of the Rings cards and you just Let's can see. be completely immersed in the Lord of the Rings while there playing a game of Magic. Or orcs in this set? Yeah, it seems Not as likely. excited about building Female decks that use some Lord of the Rings rare. cards and a bunch of other Lord normal Lord Magic cards. There are ants in this Although I'll still probably do that, Historic Brawl and, and the like. Um, why make it modern legal? So uh, the reason we made it modern legal was to make it so that as many people as possible could play with this set. We are super super excited I, it's it's really hard to underscore how excited that's not true if you wanted as many people as possible to play with it you'd make it standard legal for this release um, it was done with every bit of love and fandom that we could possibly put together and so as part of that when designing the set they were like why are we limiting this we want as many people as possible to play with it no and because so you want it's good to keep in mind that when people you are, want someone to want to play with it you want people to bother to well, actually modern legal, spend big money on these cards for their constructed decks works for their play group if it wasn't so modern legal or sure standard legal no one would buy it commander with people would buy it but that would be a much smaller fraction. And not just in multiplayer formats, but in 1v1 formats as well. And so Modern Legal was kind of the, the furthest back we could push it um, to make it playable by as many people as possible. It's just that exciting. Uh, will the Balrog have wings? You will, will have to stay tuned. Um, will there be no rebalancing for this set in Historic and Alchemy? I don't want to say never say, I don't want to never say never that, um, but the intent is not to. Um, you mentioned listening to Lord of the Rings podcasts. You have the intent is not to, guys. Want to learn more about they don't Bongo. want to have um, to rebalance so these in Alchemy. I will call out the <laughs> podcast that I Good personally Lord. listen to. This is not a company recommendation this is just the one i listened to um is from a podcast called nord of the, uh, nerd of the rings and it was just um who is tom bombadil and it had five theories that was the one i listened. i to. am really excited about that tom um, bombadil card i'm not gonna lie my favorite of those theories by the way for for those who want to go deep was that tom is the incarnation of the basically the song that created everything that, that's the theory. I also like the theory that Tom Bombadil is just Tom Bombadil and Tilton thought he was Look cool at the Stranger and, yeah. Things collection. It went nowhere. Um, did I read correctly? Not that many played with the cards. With one ring. You did. Yes, so but bundle, it would do even worse if it wasn't bundle, modern both of legal. Them come with right? that scene with four cards. With uh, that, the versions that we saw today of Frodo, Sam, there we are, Frodo, Sauron's Bane, Samwise the Stouthearted, Gollum, Patient Plotter, and the One Ring. All I mean, the only reason I can think of to not make it standard legal every bundle, both bundle and is because they want bundle. the power level to and be in the higher. Bundles, let me make sure I'm saying this right. High in enough bundles, to charge more they per pack. Come in foil, and in collector boosters, you can get these cards Just like with like Modern Horizons and Modern and Modern, and modern that that they put out individually uh, as non-foil. Are Gimli and Legolas going to appear? Of course. Um, if you can name a character, chances are very good that they are in this set. I honestly can't think of exceptions. There probably are. There probably are named characters who are not in this set. Um, I, like, I want to say how deep this goes. There's, I'm going to give it away. There's a build a pony. There's a build a pony. Like, that's how deep it goes. Um, <laughs> There's a build a pony. I'm not going to say what it does or anything like that, but because I've, I've already gone further than I should. Um, does this set have reprints or only new cards? So the commander set, here, here's a cool thing about the commander deck. So the commander decks do have reprints in them, but they are all, um, let me make sure I'm saying this right. What, they're all re-themed as Lord of the Rings cards? Just like the box toppers we saw? I'm about to, well, obviously they have sorry. So, I mean, yes, the answer is there are reprints in the commander decks. Yes. So there are reprints in the commander decks, but they do have Lord of the Rings art. The main set, I am not 100% sure um, 
if there are any reprints in the set. There may be some here or there, but I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me on that. Um, is this set Pioneer legal? No. Let's see. It just seems arbitrary at this point, deciding what sets uh, things are going to be legal in and what sets they aren't. Are all legal? I do not know the answer to that. Like originally, it made um, sense. If it's sure if it came out within the last two years, it's standard legal. If it's right older than that, that's going to be a question. It's the arena not. Team has you know. Closer. But now there's so no, many variants, I'm just gonna, it gets hard enough to track on its own, but now they start putting out sets, sets where it's like, out. well, we'll, we'll anything that, that came right. out in the last two years is standard legal, except this set um, isn't, and it's only so this legal, wizards. and oh, this set isn't, and it's only that legal. And now we're also adding alchemy cards, which are digital legal, but not physical legal. Yeah, making either a Tom and this and that and the other thing. If he's super awesome. And it's just like, I'm, why are I'm you making Tom, it so like complicated? I, said, I saw Tom Bombadil and I literally teared up when I saw the card. Just cards. only re um, release so that sets that release into standard. Commander deck, but we'll Let see. standard be what it was originally intended to be. Everything that comes out in the past two years, you can play in standard. Will we get a card <laughs> named and my ex? Everything that's, that's older. I've already gone further. You can I've play in the older format. That build a pony thing than I was supposed to. Um, like it's too complicated. There's start. There's rules and addendums to sets now. It's not just standard. Is the latest two years of sets now? It's the latest two years of very specific uh, the sets. The chance to open the One Ring is linked to where you are living in the world. For example, do Americans have better chances to open it than Europe and Asia? So the One Ring is going to be an English language collector booster. The only th the only reason I feature, can think of that you wouldn't make a set standard it legal is, is because you want the power feature. level of the cards to be higher. You want the power level to be higher so that they're more desirable and therefore people are willing to spend more money on it. That's the only possible reason you would want to do it. But I feel like that logic backfires because you have less people wanting to buy it because some people don't play the older formats. Let's see what right? I can answer. We do only have 10 minutes left. So, so is are, it really I'm worth it in the end? I guess it must be if they keep doing it. That, uh, I'm not I just wish they would simplify things. Point. I would much rather them have a standard set and then have like the... Like they've been doing since they did they did it in Strixhaven and they did it with the Brothers War where there's like one card per pack that's you know I meant for an older format or something I even that I think is kind of silly and I doesn't make answer. a whole lot of sense but it's better I'm than whole than sets so, releasing no, no more preview cards so uh, not to so standard aware, when the whole point um, of standard Lord is Rings, to just be the newest sets our next look is going to be at Magic Con Minneapolis. It's, it's way we'll too just a little bit, a little contrived. bit more about the Lord of the Rings: Tales of Middle Earth. Uh, and then, can we put the graphic, the dates graphic, back up there before we go? So again, the debut and the beginning of previews will be May thirtieth. Previews will run through June 9th with the global. We're in the Q and A section, but the Q and A section is not lit up. I, how are you, Blake? I, that great question. I'm so excited. This is one of the first shows I was actually nervous about um, because I was so excited and wanted to convey that to all of you. This set is really cool. Um, things like Tom Bombadil, Mount Doom, um, just kind of scratch the surface of the flavor that is imbued throughout this set. Uh, the commander decks are fantastic and, and they let you play as, as who you want to play as. Um, and so I am super excited for this set. I am super excited to talk more about it when we get to yeah. on Minneapolis. Yeah, they're overcomplicating May 30th. their releases. In the meantime, that is all I have to share. Next week, we are going to be off, um, but we will be back the week after that. So thank you, everyone, for tuning in to the first look at The Lord of the Rings, Tales of Middle-Earth. Thanks so much for checking out my channel. We're working hard to get to 2,000 subscribers now because we blew right past 1,000. So make sure you like and subscribe. Also, if you'd like more magic death pets, that's somewhere over there. And if you'd like to see what else the channel's been up to lately, that's somewhere over there. Also, subscribe, circle below, do all the things.